Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make baked cannelloni. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients to serve 4 people. For the meat sauce, half a cup of olive oil, half a kilo of ground beef, one onion thinly sliced, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a cup of white wine, two balls of mozzarella sliced, and two egg yolks. For the bechamel sauce, four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of plain flour, two cups of milk, and salt and pepper. And for the tomato sauce, 800 grams of tin chopped tomatoes, one onion thinly sliced, two tablespoons of butter, half a cup of white wine, and salt and pepper. And finally, 16 cannelloni shells. Here is a quick summary of all the ingredients. You will also need these utensils. Two medium saucepans, a whisk, a wooden spoon, a medium cooking pot, a bowl of cold water, an oven dish, a slotted spoon, a ladle and a colander. Step 2. Fry the onions. Place the cooking pot on a medium heat. Add half of the oil and allow it to warm through. Once warmed, add the meat. Stir Then add the onions and the oregano. Mix well and leave the meat to brown. This will take approximately 5 minutes. Then add half a cup of white wine Season with pepper and salt. Stir well and leave to evaporate for roughly two to three minutes. Then give it a final stir before setting aside. Step 3. Make the bechamel sauce. Place a second pan on medium heat. Spoon in the butter and allow it to melt. Now add the flour and cook it for 3 to 4 minutes while continually stirring. Continue by slowly pouring in the milk a little at a time. Then bring it to the boil, still stirring to avoid lumps forming. And once the sauce thickens, remove the pan from the heat. Step 4. Combine the sauce and meat. Next, pour the bechamel sauce into the pan of meat. Add the two egg yolks. And combine. When thoroughly mixed, set aside. Step 5. Make the tomato sauce. Place another saucepan on a medium heat. Add the butter and let it melt. Then add the onions
and let them sweat down until they become soft and translucent, stirring occasionally. Next, add half a cup of white wine and leave it to evaporate for approximately three to five minutes. When the wine has reduced, add the chopped tomatoes and bring to the boil. Once boiling, turn the heat down to a simmer and leave to cook for 15 minutes. Step 6. Cook and drain the pasta. Add the cannelloni to a pan of lightly oiled, salted, boiling water. Stir well and leave to cook for 9 minutes. Once cooked, remove the pasta from the pan and place it immediately into a bowl of cold water to stop the cooking process. Leave for a minute, then drain into a colander shaking off excess water and set aside. Step 7. Preheat the oven. Set the oven to 200 degrees centigrade or gas mark 6. Step 8. Make the cannelloni wraps. Place one pasta square into a flat working surface. Then spoon some of the meat mixture into the centre. And roll it lengthways to form a cylinder shaped log. When you complete all the cannelloni wraps, transfer them to the oven dish. Continue by ladling over the tomato sauce then placing the sliced mozzarella on top. Finally, sprinkle over some salt, season with pepper, and it's ready to go in the oven. Step 9. Bake. Place the oven dish into the middle of the preheated oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove from the oven after this time, but allow to stand for 5 minutes before serving. Step 10. Serve. Slice into portions and transfer to a serving plate. Then garnish with a little greenery for that extra splash of colour. This tasty dish goes perfectly with a fresh salad. And that's how to make baked cannelloni the video jug way. Enjoy!